you know, for, for any regular guy off the street, like I'll take myself, for example, um, you know, running a consulting company, uh, you know, have a marketing department, but small. So a lot of what we're doing is manual in-house advertising, uh, you know, across Google, LinkedIn, Facebook, what have you. Um, but like, what are some of the things high level that somebody like myself could do to, you know, prevent this sort of ad fraud that, that you guys are seeing? Sure. So these tests I'm about, I'll give you, I'll give you one. We'll stick with the lead generation because we we're just on that before. So I'll stick with yep. one like that. There's something called a honeypot and it's pretty simple to do. If you understand the technical aspect of a form, a form's got a bunch of different elements or inputs, right? So first name, email address, and then you can put something in there called a hidden input field. Let's call it birth date or birth year, right? So the visitor who's actually on the site is not going to see that input field. They're going to see first name, email address, phone number, submit, right? That's all they see. But a bot, again, not, not the advanced bots, but a good chunk of bots will, will start inputting first name, you know, email address, phone number, year, uh, year uh, birth year, and hit submit. So now you know when you get a form submission coming through and that honeypot was filled out, it was a bot. Right. That's a basic test. Um, we've used it for, for decades. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, it still catches, you know, that type of test will still catch a fair number of, of bots filling out forms. Yeah, I think that's, and that's incredible that you, uh, that you I, I love that. Actually, personally, I love using honeypots on our forms as well. But I think that, you know, you're right, because it, it's not something that's actually looking at a computer screen and, and just filling out the information that is right there, right? It's looking at the HTML structure of the form and it's, you know, it's saying, oh, hey, I need a, I need a birth year right here. But it's not recognizing that that form's not visible on the on the website because it's you know probably running in a headless environment, so it has no idea what uh, actually displayed on the screen. 